Okay, so here are my ideas. We know that Ela is gone, and I'm trying. We all agreed. We promised Ela we would not be getting canceled while she was gone. Yes, we did. So I've compiled an extensive list of ideas that are funny, wholesome, and will not get us canceled. I say us, but you know, me. Yeah. You know. so, so. Fantastic. That sounds great. So reacting to BTS new music video. Let's give our full, unfiltered reaction to BTS's new music video. No, no, vetoed. Why, Dan? No, I like it. It doesn't matter. Vetoed. Dark Souls playthrough, no commentary. Oh! Sorry. That's not really a cancelable right. offense. It's a bad right. idea. It's a snoozer. Okay. Oh, drive the Gatsby into a load-bearing beam, one of these, and see if we can collapse the building. Absolutely not. That's Ethan! No. Ethan! No! No! Doing, no! no. no. Do not do this, Ethan, no, 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 Ethan, 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 Ethan. You have good insurance? Maybe a liability. That's not a real thing. No, no, no. Okay, move out to the woods, buy a cabin, swear off technology, and talk about the industrial revolution and its consequences vis-a-vis, Become a terrorist. How is that content if you have no technology? You can't shoot that. What is that idea? You think Klein Zinsky? Like, what is this? Uh, it's just, yeah. Okay, not a good idea. I get it. So buying everything on every fast food menu challenge and seeing how much weight I can gain before Ela comes home. I think that's a fucking great idea. Thank you, Zach. No, that is no, a great no, idea, man. man. Woo! Zach you know? likes it. Dan, check this out. 3,057 double quarter pounder with cheese meals. Thirty thousand dollars. We see if we can finish it. To order here? Yeah, we could do. That's like what, like uh, eight thousand a piece? Ela is not gonna like that. Like thirty thousand dollars at McDonald's? No, no, no. Everyone else here. No. I'm in, man. Okay, guys, this one is you're gonna love. It's super safe, wholesome, and fun. Great. Blackout drunk on a live stream. Don't react. Hear the second part and talk about complex racial issues in America. No. I'm no, into it. I'm into it. Okay, well, fine. Let's talk about trans athletes, you know, in sports. I will win. You are not equipped for that discussion. No? That's, no. That's no. A little much. no. Yeah. Too much. Even Zach saying no. Yeah. Okay, let's see how many people we can defame in one episode. The goal is to see how many defamation lawsuits I can generate from one episode of the podcast. So it'd be some, saying stuff like, Team Star Rick. <laughs> 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 oh, euthanize Ian. We'll put you to death. You, no. We'll euthanize that, Ian. No. I mean, we do have the robot. Yeah, we have the Sam, can we euthanize Ian? Absolutely not. Oh, she does like you. <laughs> Ian likes it, though. I'm afraid Ian might like the idea. Do I get a bonus? Sure. Pay you whatever you want after you're dead. Okay, Catholic Church, all the scandals of the Catholic Church, you know what I'm saying? I There's a lot exactly to unpack there. Saying. I know exactly what you're saying. Boy Scouts. Nope. 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 Country themed episode, I do a con my country voice for an entire episode. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, man. Da da dang 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 dang. That sounds like hell. I'm in, man. Literal hell. Okay, uh, YouTube boxing matches are super popular right now. Here's someone I feel like would generate a lot of hype and who would be a good challenge for me Ryan Toys Reviews, boxing match. He's a With child. Me. He's a kid. He's, he's a five? little child. Is he five? I don't know. He's got a huge YouTube channel. What about a child? Yeah, I mean, what is this idea? For views. Why? <laughs> I just feel bad. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Start an H3 Snapchat to connect with our younger fans. Oh, boy. Under yeah. eight, you have a lot of people under 18 on Snapchat. Those yeah. are really good people to watch the show. I'll say, hey, I'll go to people under age and say, hey, add me on Snapchat. See what happens. Okay, this one might actually be an international crime, but I'm gonna pitch it to you. Hiring Chinese hackers to DDoS trailer. Is that a crime? Or... No, like to shut down the service. Yeah, no, that's definitely a crime. It is? Yeah. I feel like it's gonna shut down on its own, so. Right, that's fair. Okay, Ryan Kavanaugh, pinata slash burning an effigy. Is that too far? Uh, yeah. Like build of life, like, a like-size model of Ryan Kavanaugh in like wood, straw, Set it on fire? I think it's like five steps too far. Zach likes it. Of course he does. <laughs> Dude, you guys are, this is tough. You guys are a tough crowd. I mean, this is, a, okay. Go to Japan, 
suicide forest, oh, go into the suicide oh. forest, Ethan, come on. make a vlog, what is see what happens. You don't know what you find there. Yeah, we know. You, you do problem. know what you find there. Well, yeah. Maybe that's the point. Dude, you guys have got to toss me a bone here. Okay, okay, fine. Being wholesome, exercising, and eating healthy the entire time while Ela's gone to surprise her when she gets here. Oh, that sounds really nice. I like that. Psych! Psych? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Hey, we're gonna befriend Tati Westbrooks, gain her trust, become friends with her, you know, have her over the house, meet her husband, you know, we're good friends. And then when she least expects it, promote sugar bear hair vitamins. Boom, let's go. Didn't, Come on. That didn't end well for the last Come time. Come yeah. on. Sister yeah. was very sorry after that. So. Burning down my house for insurance money. What? Eight, uh, eight part docuseries on Shane to, to give him a redemption arc. Uh, no. uh, making Fupa coin real, pull the rug, make a bunch of money. I'm into that one. God. Yeah, I mean, you guys all benefit from that. No, oh, make a puzzle with a QR code, so make, sell it, and uh, nobody wins but me. Uh, the, that is a scam. Yeah. That's a, you're describing a scam. But a smart business move. I, not smart. Okay, so I don't know what's. I don't know what you guys don't like about the like getting drunk in the race. What, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I really think that the Catholic Church one has legs and out. You wanted to euthanize me? Hey, come on, you guys. Okay, okay. So does this mean you guys don't like my ideas? Because you know, ideas suck. There are some legs here. Nope. I mean, defamation speed run definitely is interesting. I mean, nobody's ever done that nope. before where nope. you nope. can get defamed as much as possible. I mean, as long as we do have Ian's permission, we can euthanize him. Right? Nope, you got a show to do. All right, that's as far as we can go. Guys? Don't need help. Hate my ideas. I got good ideas. I'm an ideas man. I don't need them to do the show. I'm gonna do it by I, I, I'm gonna do this show by myself. Ah! I can't believe you guys really taped me up like that. I mean, I didn't deserve that. You, you absolutely needed it. I mean, dang, it's really hard not to get canceled without Ela here. Literally, every one of my ideas was horrible and cancelable. You believe that? Yeah, I do. Off the rails. Come on, people! Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go! Ooh, 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 ooh. That sound bite ends a little abruptly, Zach. You need to fade it out. Today's episode is sponsored by Canva, Credit Karma Money, MeUndieStamps.com, and Shady Rays. And yes, Ryan Cavada, I do know you're counting our sponsors. We have five. I know you are not going to get any of that money. Speaking of Ryan Kavanaugh, friend of the show, we made this compare, you know, first of all, Ryan Kavanaugh, the guy who's suing me from Triller, uh, infringing my, my First Amendment right, <laughs> we just crunched the numbers. You know how there's these celebrity lookalikes? Ryan, your, celeb your celebrity lookalike is Harvey Weinstein. I'm just saying that you guys, we've been having a debate. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? A lot of you guys have been saying you don't see the resemblance. I do not. It's 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 a big stretch. I'm sorry. It's not. Show the it more, again. The more I see him, the more I start to see it. Look at the resemblance. They're he just, totally fucking does. It's bro, dude. Middle-aged white guys. It's, 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 How dare you? I'm just. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just, just don't to see be clear, it. he looks closer than any of us look. Or uh, that's very true. Yeah. Of all of us, were to stand next to Harvey well, Weinstein. Ethan. Oh, please. The re you think I have resemblance to Harvey Weinstein? Get out of here. I see it in his forehead, his eyes, his beard. His beard. His whole face, shape of actually. his face. Yeah. Also, like, his profession. I mean, he's a big-time movie producer, or he was before he bankrupted his company. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I believe the Weinstein company is having some financial issues as well. So there is a Thank you, Dan. Yeah. For very different reasons. For very different reasons, yes. We love Dan. I'm not accusing Ryan Kavanaugh, the guy who's suing me from Chiller, of sexual impropriety. I just think they look similar. That's all. You know, just to make that clear. Um, oh, you know what? We have to do a, a, an ad read at the top of the show, so bear with us here one sec, because we got Shady Rays! 
look at these sunglasses. So hot, so stylish. Let me tell you about Shady Rays. While I'm doing that, why don't you go show off your specs? We are all hooked up with Shady Rays. Mm. Here's the deal with Shady Rays. High quality shades for that are just straight up less expensive than the name brands because uh, they own the distribution. They have put it online. They have mastered the uh, means of production. You know, they've got one of the best warranties in the sunglass industry. If you lose or break it, boom, they're going to replace it for you. No questions asked. That's hot. Wow. That's unbelievable. Wow. And oh, you know what else they hot. do? They donate 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order. Come on. Shady Rays. Um, they started just 48 bucks. They have a fan, bunch of fantastic styles. And you're just going to be getting that super high-end quality for a fraction of the price with the craziest warranty. And they're going to be donating money to hungry people in America. So it pretty much is a perfect trifecta. Exclusive for our listeners, Shady Rays is running their deepest deal of the season. 50% off all shades. Excuse me. What? Let me put these back on. Use code H50. For 50% off any pair of sunglasses at ShadyRays.com. You can get a premium polarized pair of shades for as low as $28 with the code H50. Redeemable only at ShadyRays.com, where you can find all their newest and best shades. Thank you, Shady Rays. Oh, that's hot. I would continue to wear these, but we're inside. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, man, so this has been a weird week for me. Uh, obligatory, we have a fantastic episode today. Just throw that out there. It's true. It's true. CoffeeZilla, the guy who's been putting together this whole investigation into the um, crypto schemes being run by FaZe and all these guys. Fantastic. So we're going to talk to him about it. Logan Paul. One of our big stories today is about how Logan Paul has perpetuated... Such a huge crypto scam. It's on the level of like Pro Syndicate and T Martin CSGO lottery because he 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 owns this. He made it, and he's pretending like he doesn't know what it is allegedly. But the evidence is clearly there. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Anyway. I'm a strawberry. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Logan. Uh, this has now been. When did Ela leave? This has been like you know. She left on Sunday, and it's uh. What the fucking day is it? It's it's Wednesday. It's uh, Wednesday, my dude. Not even close to a week. It feels like it's been forever. It's so weird being in the house without Elon Theodore. You know, it's dominated my life. It's like you come home, it's Theodore time, and it's so freaking quiet, you know. So quiet. You get a little spook magooped? No, not spook. No, I haven't been spook magooped. Just feeling lonely and bored at, when I'm I not could, working. I could come over. You, we play some video games or... No, I'm not that desperate. Oh, damn. Thank you, though, for offering. Damn. Give it a few more days. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, in a few days, I'll be calling AB to come and keep me company. <laughs> not that I wouldn't want to hang out with you. It's just there is a there is a certain, you know, boss, employee. If you fire me, we can hang out. Right. What kind of logic is that? It's like the office romance where it's like, you if you fire me, we can be together. Right. Just think about it. I like you as an, as an employee. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not a lover, an employee. Ian I would fire to hang out with. Ian, do you want me to fire you so we can be friends? I mean, I appreciate that. Thank you. So is that a no or a yes? I'll keep my job. Keep the job. Let's Love keep it professional. Me, Daddy. Let's keep it, yeah. Okay. But anyway, it's been so quiet, you know? You think that Ela thought I'd be having so much fun at home. She's like, oh, you're going to play video games and watch anime. I sit there because I've been working a lot. So I'm busy all day, work till like eight or nine o'clock. And I sit down. There's nothing to watch on the TV. There's nobody to talk to. Last night I tried to order a pizza. The weirdest, the fucking weird, dude, I swear to God, bro. Postmates scammed me. Maybe not Postmates, but the driver itself. Tell me if this guy, tell me if you ever heard of anything like this. It was so fucked up. It was probably a good thing because I ordered a big ass pizza for myself. Like a big fucking, like a $60 pizza. Not good. But anyway, Ela, don't listen to this. 
Probably do that tonight, but you don't. Want so the post, so I order this pizza. It says it's going to arrive in like an hour and a half, I guess, because it's busy. So then all of a sudden I'm watching the driver. They say they picked up the pizza. It's like a 30 minute drive. Then all of a sudden I live in a guarded community. So they have to go to the guard to get permission to enter the community. But then all of a sudden on the app, it shows the car is magically like an hour ahead of schedule in front of my house. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it gives like an eight minute warning. If you don't contact your driver, I had never seen that. The driver texts me. He says, I can't find your door. And I says, the door is like, it's not hidden. It's very obvious. It's, it's so obvious where the front door is. <laughs> so I go, this is so weird, you know? And the minute he sends the, I'm at your front door, he starts this eight minute timer. And it says, if you don't contact your driver within uh, eight minutes, then you're not going to be refunded for your order. So I'm tech, so I'm texting him. I'm like, I'm outside. I don't see you uh, on the, on the Postmates map. It shows that the driver's right in front of my house. So I'm standing there. There's no car. I called the gate. I said, did anyone enter with food? And they say, nobody's no, nobody's come into the community. They would know. So this driver mysteriously shows up in front of my house an hour early, says, I can't find the door on the map. It shows the car's right in front of my house. And I'm going, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm in front. I don't see you. I don't think you're here. And then all he ever says is, I can't find your door. The eight minutes expire. And then he fucking disappears. In reality, you guys got scammed. <laughs> I feel like there's some weird. And then the driver itself only had like 50, 15 deliveries. He didn't have a profile picture. I felt like this is some weird scheme that people are running as like fake Postmates drivers. Uh, that is very strange. I have a conspiracy theory. Go ahead. Maybe Ela tipped off the guards. She's like, if you see any fucking pizza guys come through here, you turn their ass around. And Why do you say I can't see your door? Huh? He said, I can't find your door. Because the guard related the message to the pizza man. So it's a deep conspiracy between Ela, the driver, and the guard. Yes. And the pizza place. Correct. They're all in on it. They're the all earth in is on flat. It. We've never been to the moon. I, I've i never had a good Postmates experience. I know. So I, I would believe that something would happen like this through that app. Um, I've, I've just, I've never had a good experience with them. You know what? I'm not going to say that. I do have plenty of good Postmates experiences, but this one, I have a lot of bad ones recently though, Zach. So I do co-sign, but mm -hmm. this one was so weird. I felt like someone is doing something super shady here and I don't like it. So that's my story. Fascinating stuff here, guys. Fascinating. I found it really fascinating. Anyway. Don't you think these two look alike? I mean, Harvey's got a little extra weight. I think that's the only difference. Like if if Ryan gained maybe like fifty pounds, there'd be. I mean, Ryan, Ryan no has difference. red hair. Well, Harvey has kind of reddish, like light hair too. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> How do you not see it? It's the same person. Um, Coffeezilla is going to be calling in in thirty minutes. That's going to be fun. Should you ask Coffeezilla about the pizza scam, you think? He's kind of like the scamp buster guy. Mm, it's a little deep cut. Seems like it was a me problem. <laughs> User <laughs> error <laughs> at this point. That, that's so odd that happened, though. I've never... Uh... No, me neither. I've never encountered anything like that. So I was hoping maybe one, someone else out there has that experience. Because I'm telling you, something was fishy in that whole fucking thing. Yo, speaking of uh, fishy, phase blanks. He was having some fishy issues with crypto. This is a deep cut since we've been goofing on this guy. Um, here he is. Apparently, he's a pro gamer. They walk into a GameStop expecting everybody to bow before them. Excuse me. It's the Coke. Watch this. This is so good. Phase blanks. So, they're cruising in a mall. Remember malls, guys? Yeah, right? GameStop, this is a pro gamer. Everybody bow before me. Phase up. Look at this fucking guy. He actually says phase up. Yeah, they say it a bunch. Hands up. Dark Souls 2? Wow, that was a long time ago. 
Oh no, man. Shirt down, he goes face. Subscribe on YouTube. Call of Duty athletes. Call of Duty the Chance. $400,000 tomorrow. Nice. We just thought we'd pay our respects. Yep. We're all jam, homie. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Cool, dude. Whoa. Cool. Why would they even post that? Like, that clearly did not go <laughs> like as if they what they wanted i mean maybe they were just goofing maybe <laughs> phase up yo game Blanks. stop that's the guy that's infinitely more successful than you ethan yeah you so think maybe you should have a little more respect i'm infinitely smarter and more successful than you i'm infinitely smarter than you and i'm um, infinitely more successful than you yeah as proven by this clip you can see you can see the respect and success just by recognition alone i think he's fucking stupid yeah call of duty athletes mm. <laughs> i think he's fucking stupid i feel like if phase banks you know what i wish he was doing instead of um uh, competing in esports, uh, cooking beer at a monastery, making loggers at a monastery, like monks. Right. You're making friars to Brother Banks. Brother yeah, Banks. Brother Banks. <laughs> okay. Brother Banks would be great at cooking or brewing uh, beers and loggers <laughs> in a monastery back in like the 1500s. We drank beer. You would brew. I, I think the fact you said cooking beer kind of threw, threw me you off. There. Yeah. yeah, brewing beer. This is this is Banks' true calling. I imagine Banks on a horse-drawn buggy with barrels in the back, cloak, spreading love and joy via the. They got one of the best brews in the whole damn county. And having some beers with friends. <laughs> so. I saw some comments that uh, evidently um, Brother Banks has an origin beyond the, the monk meme. Oh, for real? What is yeah, it? Yeah. I can't recall what it was, but it, I mean, it still, it still works. Yeah, of I, course. It, it's evolved. We've taken it to the next level. <laughs> but yeah, it, apparently it predated his, uh, his bald spot revelation. So it seems like it was just meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No such True thing. in all aspects. No such thing as a coincidence. Oh, this is so good, you guys. Uh, Rice Gum Spotify got hacked. <laughs> Whatever's going on on Rice Gum Spotify to begin with, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but anyway, here is a new hit. Rice Gum is a bitch. Rice Gum. Upload it to Rice Gums. Spotify feed. I love it. Kind of a banger. Kind of a banger, right? Hey, Rice Gums a bitch. Rice Gums a bitch. Rice Gums a bitch. Rice Gums a bitch. Throw your motherfucking hands in the air if you think Rice Gums a bitch. Rice Gums a bitch. Rice Gums is a bitch. Rice gum 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 is a bitch. You such a bitch. Kind of a bot. And before we move on, of course, you know we've been following just for my own, you know, as a social media influencer. It is my duty to follow the happenings of social media platforms, yes. Triller being one of them. Yes. And we have some new Triller reviews to report on. Whoever left these, I don't know. It's not going well for them lately, I've noticed. They've actually been getting, I've noticed, a lot of one-star reviews. Huh. Which I think means people are just generally having bad experiences with the app instead of good Instead of good experiences, which would generate a five star. Yeah, generally when I use an app and I like it, I, I would I would give it a high rating, like a four, maybe four even five. a maybe even a five. Yeah. Ugh, it's so I mean, awful. I didn't like it. That's why I left this one star review. Right. Of Triller. Oh, app. right, right, right. I've forgotten. About I, we that. said Triller using Triller has been one of the worst experiences of my life. So that was by me, one star. You guys share your own experiences. Uh, who have used it? Here we go. I don't know if this is one of you guys. It's just uh, uh, you know. I'll read this. I've been using this app for a while, hoping that one day I could serve as a viable social media platform. But due to this app's mismanagement and horrible communications with its creator, of which Kevin Hart is not included, 
Right, because they promised Kevin Hart was on the app. Yeah. He's not. I came to the conclusion that I had to delete the app for my own well-being. So my truck one day, I wanted to research why this app was so horrifically mismanaged. A quick Google search of Triller CEO Ryan Kavanaugh, who I believe bears a striking resemblance to Harvey Weinstein. See, I told you. Oh, I'm what not the, the only hell? one that noticed that. I guess you aren't the only one. I, I don't see it, but... Resulted in an article from respected publication Variety. As I was reading about Ryan Kavanaugh's ex-partner accusing him of running a Ponzi scheme in the Variety article, I drove my Ford F-150 into a community pool destroying fencing, a lifeguard stand, and the pool siding. Oh, no. I feel like that's more your fault than Ryan Kavanaugh's fault. Or Triller's fault. Yeah, you cannot put that on Triller. That's not a fair... Uh, not fair. That's not a fair review. Not fair. I've been charged with felony destruction of property, and I'm facing up to five years in prison. I feel Ryan Kavanaugh is responsible, but I am unsure if he could even pay any amount of my bail, as Triller is, like, hemorrhaging money. Well, everything is true, except I really doubt that that's Ryan Kavanaugh's fault. You shouldn't have been looking at your phone while driving. Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. Oh, this one got a two star. My favorite part about this app is that there's so much potential. Since no one uses it, it's very easy to rise to the top. Oh, that's a good point. I feel like I can hear an echo when I post. I've never seen an app before with so little engagement or interest in content. It's like a sandbox with no sand. So feel free to fill it with whatever you want. Interesting. Uh, that's a really good review. Two stars. They're saying, listen, there's nothing here now. It's a blank slate. You know? Yeah. You can, Although, you can go anywhere from there. If you rise to the top and there's nobody to watch you, I don't know how good that is. Uh, Two star, though. Big big fish in a small pond. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta find your niche. Ugh, it's so awkward. <laughs> oh, this one's a five star, just to be fair. My app, five stars. Cool. Nice review. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that Ryan? Did Ryan leave that? They say it's his app. My app. Oh, my God. Do you think that was Ryan That might have been Ryan. It's my app. Five star. I mean. I don't think that's a fair review. As much as I thought, thought that first one star wasn't fair. Yeah, that seems like self-dealing to review your own app. Ryan. But also, it's like, that's not a fair my app. I mean, what the hell does that mean? Of course you like it. It's your app. Something. Okay, this one said they made them haunted. One star. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I just something about it. Every time I try to use it, I get the feeling that someone is watching me. It's not such a scary feeling, but more of an overwhelmingly sad one. It's suffocating. Just like the user interface. To be honest, the last times I opened the app, I actually ended up having nightmares. Whoa. Wow. And the weird thing is that they were all exactly the same. I would get caught up in a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Bad. And I would have to do a lot of bad things to get myself out. The nightmares always end the same way with me dying bankrupt, alone, sad. Yeah. That is horrific. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Uninstall. <laughs> Uninstall, my friend. Because that, yeah, that sounds cursed as hell. Anyway, I think a very sick person may have trapped their soul in this app, and I recommend avoiding it. One star. Whoa. Yeah. That one might be worth uh, framing. That's a really good one. <laughs> That's definitely warranted one star. You know. <laughs> so that those are really good. Yeah. Is there any of the other one you recommend reading? They're pretty long, Ian. What do you think, Ian? Ian uh, curated these. I don't know. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, that, that one was really good. I'm glad I read that one. Oh, you know, I have to say there's been a lot of great Kavanaugh memes on the subreddit. Ryan Kavanaugh. Owner of Triller, the guy who's suing me and infringing on my First Amendment right of speech. So this is more of an energetically aligned meme. So here's Ryan Kavanaugh in the middle, who looks like Harvey Weinstein, which we've established here. According to some. According to some. And then the other thing is that he's energetically aligned with Kevin Spacey, disgraced actor, because Kevin Spacey was considering buying relativity media after ryan kavanaugh bankrupted it yeah I, and i looked into it more it was kind of confusing because i guess at some point he was involved maybe not buying oh he was like right. on the board on of the directors board or, something. or something yeah i forget the exact details, super so. super interesting He's definitely but, involved but the point of this meme is just to show that they are energetically aligned of course not saying that ryan kavanaugh has committed any sexual crimes i mean how would i know that 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not saying he didn't. I'm just saying that we don't have evidence to support one way or the other. How, how can you tell that they're energetically aligned from this? Not, not to hate on the person who created this, but... Oh, I just explained it. There's no such thing as a coincidence. There's no such thing as a coincidence. All right. All right. No, there's no evidence that Ryan has done any sexual crimes. I don't want to... No, definitely that. not. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to say that. False. Best friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. Of course, just I think what the point of this is that they have a lot in common in terms of being like their occupation, the fact that they're both going through bankruptcies, stuff like that. And is this a real photo of them together? <laughs> that I don't actually know. Cam uh, Cam made this one. Cam, was there re were they actually in a photo together? Oh, he's, he's editing he's, right now. He's, he's, he's deep undercover. I need to know. Yeah. Somebody ask him. Is Harvey Weinstein and uh, Ryan Kavanaugh picture? Are they? Uh, is that a real photo? Or? No, I'm just that good. He's just that <laughs> no, good. No, it's not a real photo. Yeah. They've never. Th this is not a real photo. No, you got us. But I do feel it. like they would make best friends because they have so much in common. Personally, oh, here's a Ryan no, picture. Not professionally, not personally, actually. Let's say what? You said they personally have a lot in common. I think it's more fair to say they professionally have a lot of common. I just think they have a lot in common, one way or the other. <laughs> okay. Just, <laughs> I want to be very clear on what the comparison here is. I mean, yeah. The fact that they were both big producers in Hollywood. Yeah, both yeah. going through bankruptcies. <laughs> that's also part they of their professional similar. life. Uh, okay, well, that's a matter of opinion, so that's okay. <laughs> they probably have a lot of the same friends, so personal, you know. Um, okay. You know they have the same friends. They, uh, come on. <laughs> Oh, here's a picture of Ryan Kavanaugh posing with a picture of Ryan Kavanaugh the, of the Variety article. Oh, no. Yeah. Did Ryan not Kavanaugh, realize? Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. It's him posing with the Variety article. Crazy. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Oh, he must have not read that. <laughs> okay, now this one is a game, so you guys help me. <laughs> oh, no, Ryan Kavanaugh's lost his face and needs your help. So you guys tell me which number fits here. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Oh my god. This is Harvey Weinstein. I know that. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Welcome to <laughs> Put That Face on Ryan Kavanaugh. Today we've got six choices. We have to decide which number goes on the face. If you win, you don't get sued for defamation. That's right. <laughs> so. I'm trying to sort these out. Okay, number four, that's that's our boy that would Adolf. Be, that would be Adolf Hitler. Okay. Um, uh, and number six, that appears to be Phase Blanks, right? That would be Phase Blanks, I agree. Okay, and number two, obviously, is our our, our good friend, friend of the show, Keemstar. Uh, you are a fucking hypocrite. Yeah, but who's number five, actually? That's though? the one that's kind of... Uh, it kind of looks like maybe Bolsonaro? <laughs> maybe? That's funny. You know he's a shitty dude, whoever it is. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so based on... Okay, so if you show behind me, uh, Ian, I'm pretty sure I've seen this photo a lot. Right. I know it's not Harvey. It's not Harvey. I think it's this guy. Right. I think that's number three. Am I right? We actually don't. I think, yeah. I think it's we number have a, three, We baby. have a winner. We have a winner. Number four does look a lot like him, though. Let's. I was thinking about choosing number four. Uh, uh, that is a black and white photo. <laughs> I don't know why he would be photographed in black and white. Right. That's Adolf Hitler, not Ryan Kavanaugh. Right. Oh, I got two and four confused. I'm sorry. What, what's the next one? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I almost put number one. I almost put number one. You got two and four confused, or you thought? Mm. I, I, yeah, I don't, whatever. Yeah. I almost put number one, which <laughs> so would have been. Harvey Weinstein, but then I was like, oh, I think it's three. Yeah, I, I believe it's three. Here's another one. Come closer, SpongeBob meme. Did you know, did you know that Ryan Kavanaugh was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme? That's me on my deathbed. Right. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Triller, your thing is flipped. Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. Of course, a call back to Noah Beck, who is being paid to use the app and still bit making TikToks bitching about it. So that's fantastic. Ugh, it's so awkward. We think he's being paid. Do we know that? Oh, please. But do we know that? I mean, have I seen his bank statements? Yes. <laughs> yes, I've audited it all. No, I don't know. I haven't seen the bank. I'm pretty sure. Well, whatever. You know he is. Still look it up. Do your own research. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure there's articles about it and stuff, but well, I know that they paid influencers to post on there, but well, they wrote them in the freaking description of the app. They yeah. Noah Beck serves as an advisor and has equity share. Thank oh. you, fact checkers, Thank baby. Thank you, AB. I just don't want to. We gotta. You love that? Think it's on the advisory board, and he's like, "This app is so shit <laughs> that this guy can make a well, bunch of money if it succeeded." That's how he was giving his feedback. And he's like, yo, Triller, my thing Triller. is flipped. My thing is flipped. <laughs> oh, this is a Star Wars meme. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Ryan Kavanaugh? He was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. That is a tragedy. Wow. That's a really good anecdote from the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Even the Sith Lord knows about the Ponzi scheme. Uh, Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, Emperor Palpatine has even read the Variety article. <laughs> Darth Kavanaugh. <laughs> oh, here's this classic meme. Any business? And then Ryan goes, is this something I can bankrupt? <laughs> well, he's already bankrupted one big business. We're about to find out if he can make it two with Triller. <laughs> My bet is yes. <laughs> Who is better? Ryan Kavanaugh or this happy monkey? Let's see. Let's do a comparison. I mean, that's, this is a really uh, compelling uh, comparison. Okay. Ryan Kavanaugh has bankrupted a business. Happy Monkey has not bankrupted a business. Cool. Point for the monkey. Yep. Accused of running a Ponzi scheme, Ryan Kavanaugh. Happy Monkey, not accused of running a Ponzi scheme. That we know of. <laughs> right. That we know of. That's fair to say for the monkey. Yeah. He, at least he hasn't been accused of it in open court by an ex-business partner. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. The monkey has not. We can confidently say that. Uh, Ryan Kavanaugh. He has been said to resemble Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. By me. By you. And many others, let's be honest. Uh, this monkey has not been said to resemble Harvey Weinstein. That is interesting. Uh, Ryan Kavanaugh hated by many. Well, who? I don't know if I can gauge that. I mean, I'm sure that the people, like he, uh, I've read the bankruptcy filings and he screwed over a lot of people who didn't get paid. So I guess that's fair to say. We'll dive more into the bankruptcy stuff next week. We got a big whole episode on uh, Ryan Kavanaugh. That's going to be freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think that's fair to assume because of the bankruptcy. He's hated by many. And this happy monkey is loved by many because he's a happy monkey. I, I love him. I love him. Yeah. I also, I do not like Ryan Kavanaugh personally. Um, Ryan Kaiba does not own any bananas. Can we prove that? That's the that, mo mm. that's unprovable. Yeah. Same with the monkey owns many bananas. We can't prove we can't prove that. <laughs> Although we can prove that Ryan Kavanaugh does own Triller, and the happy monkey does not own Triller. So in conclusion, the happy monkey wins. We love the monkey. We love the monkey, don't we, folks? <laughs> Okay, you tell me there's no resemblance here. Remember Harvey Weinstein? This is him now. Feel old yet? That is that could be the same person, dude. It totally could be. Stop it, Dan. I disagree. <laughs> oh, this is Ryan Kavanaugh and Keemstar uh, uh, flirting about me in class. <laughs> Probably talking all kinds of trash about me behind my back. Okay, so this is an interesting. Cocaine. This is your eyes on cocaine, marijuana, beer, Ponzi. <laughs> now, let me just clarify. He was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi, you know. So, that's, yeah. But Ponzi, wow, that's funny. This is just them together again? Animorphs. Ryan Kavanaugh learns about fraud. Man, you you guys been heavily at work here. This is pretty good. All right, listen, douchebag. Apparently, people think we look alike. Personally, I don't see it. Holy shit. No, yeah, I see that. We got the same eyes, same gnome, same lips. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and there's one thing that Cameron made that I think is worth sharing. Um, um, Cameron made this, which I, I think, if anything, really proves how much they do look alike. So, Dan, you watch this and you tell me. So this is, this is, um, you guys watch this and tell me what you think. There's Harvey Weinstein. There's Ryan Kavanaugh. Or wait, is that Ryan Kavanaugh? 
And is that Harvey Weinstein? It's really hard to tell the difference between the two. I feel like I can tell the difference. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Mm. I really can't. Yeah. So that was, that was, okay, that's Ryan Kavanaugh. That's Harvey Weinstein. No, you, you got it backwards. Oh, see, I yeah. confused them. All right. On their physical appearance. Understood. Uh, we got to go to break. Already? Yes. I'm having way too much fun. Yeah. Bro, I still have more Kevin on memes. We'll have to come back to it. We're actually, we're way over. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go do, throw it to a break. We'll Time be right to take back. a short break. Yeah. Thank you, Rudy. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. Credit karma money. Credit Karma has always been there to help you make better financial decisions, and now they want to help you even more with Credit Karma Money Spend Account. You can be rewarded for good money habits. Credit Karma Money is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursements just for making purchases. Now, let me tell you why this is revolutionary. You shouldn't only get rewards for credit cards, but Credit Karma Money with those debit cards coming in with those rewards. When you use your Credit Karma Money debit card, you can win daily instant karma purchase reimbursements on items of up to $5,000. Just pay with your debit card, and if you win, you'll be notified on the spot, and your instant karma cash will be added back to your spend account. Credit Karma Money has already given away over $3 million in instant karma to over 50,000 Credit Karma members and counting. Open your FDIC insured spend account for free. There's no minimum balance requirements, no overdraft fees, and free withdrawals from a network of over 50,000 ATMs. And get this, when you, between July 1st and July 23rd, when you make a purchase, you'll automatically be entered to win $1 million. Credit Karma Money. Progress starts here right now. Visit creditkarma.com slash winmoney to open your free account and start winning instant karma. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Credit uh, instant karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase is necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank Incorporated, member FDIC, maximum balance and transfer limits apply. Save Bon Voyage to your old, torn up, mangled underwear that's been sitting in your drawer since fifth grade. Be honest, I know they're there. Because comfort starts now with MeUndies. Okay? MeUndies is soft, luxurious, game changing underwear. You know, we've been all shopping, bottom of the barrel. Undies, for too long, we got to treat ourselves. We're adults now. We got to take care of ourselves. That's what MeUndies all about. It fits perfectly. It breathes. It's soft. It's an underwear revolution. And with MeUndies memberships, you're never going to run out of undies or worry about skipping laundry day again. Each month, replenish your basics and build your collection with styles that are anything but basic. Styles that let you be true version of yourself right down to your core and your genitals. No pressure. You can always skip a month if you don't want to. Plus, enjoy discounting prices, controlled shipping, and exclusive early access. Love your butt and get the membership. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund it or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. So, to get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash h3. That's MeUndies.com slash H3. You guys are not going to regret this. Go to their website. Check out all the fun prints and styles. Check it out. You guys can have a lot of fun with it, I promise. MeUndies.com slash H3. Listen, stamps is a fact of life. You're going to mail stuff. Why not do it with stamps.com? It's more convenient. It's cheaper. It's better. You do it from home. I love stamps. Don't even get me started, man. I love stamps. Stamps Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stamps.com brings the same U.S. Postal and UPS serving shipping services right to your computer. They make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office. Print official U.S. posters and shipping labels 24-7 without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is your computer and a standard printer. Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple, guys. Stamps.com It's a no-brainer. Saving nearly 1 million small business owners like you time and money. Time and money, people. They offer deals you can't get anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS and up to 66% off UPS shipping rates. Excuse me. 
And with their switch and save feature, you can quickly compare carriers to find the best rates every time. So stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with promo code H3, you get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long term commitment or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in H3. That's stamps.com. Promo code H3. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Canva Pro is the easy to use design platform that is everything you need to design like a pro. Whether you're a professional designer or just getting started, Canva Pro can help boost you and your team's productivity and creativity. It's a quick, easy, affordable way to design whatever you need. And no matter what you're creating and sharing, Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Plus, Canva Pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up the creative process. You get all you, get all you need in one place. It's Canva Pro, baby. Canva Pro subscription. This is what I love about Canva Pro is that when you look at some of the alternative uh, photo editing services, they're really complicated, super expensive, not user friendly. It takes like a kind of like a lifetime to effectively use some of these softwares out there. Uh, Canva Pro is made to be used, right? It's usability, but still with that advanced level ability to edit uh, photos, create templates, you know, doing everything you would want to do with that photo editing software, but just so much easier to get in the door and start using it. That's what I love about Canva Pro. Uh, there's no idea too big or too small for Canva Pro. You know, if you are uh, a student, you're on a marketing team, you're running a business, you're just a crafty mom. I mean, it's really the go-to photo soft. I would recommend it to anyone who's not trying to spend their life dedicated to learning this other software that's way more expensive. Not saying names, but you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Canva Pro. Design like a pro with Canva Pro right now. You can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash h3 to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's c-a-n-v-a dot me, m-e, Slash H3. That's Canva.me slash H3. Welcome back, everybody, uh, to the the Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme podcast. We've replaced H3 with the Variety article. And to be fair, I mean, we do, you know. It's an interesting description. That's all I'll say. We do talk a about Ryan a decent amount on this podcast. Yes, he's come up a few times. Uh, the one I'm going to close the book on this thing. Sorry to, to keep uh, you know going on, but there was one funny development with Ryan. Um, he was recently we we caught him buying followers on Instagram. Pretty awesome, huh? Allegedly. Oh, this no, come on, this no allegedly. This is fucking for well. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just say allegedly, but you guys decide. Nicki Minaj posts almost 3 million likes, by the way. Giveaway time. I love how she makes it seem like she's just being this generous soul giving away and not being paid by this echelon. It's so stupid. Giveaway time. I'm giving out iced diamond Barbie chains. Three computers to get your education on. Jerk off on, more like. Who gets educated on computers for porn, literally, exclusively. Four bags. <laughs> So here's what it says in the description. To enter, it's simple. Follow Echelon Giveaways and everyone they are following right now. Okay? Then hmm. we, go on, we go on over to Echelon. Here's Echelon, who's uh, restoried. Follow everyone we are following for a chance to win. Who does Echelon follow? 99 people, one of which? Ryan Kavanaugh. <sighs> Boom. So Echelon Got Giveaways him. is literally, where, didn't we have here, this is a description, a mission statement from their website, by the way, uh, just in case you had any doubt left. This is literally their description of what they do. This is the biggest scheme. Like, you know that buying followers doesn't do shit. Like, it's just, it's so pointless. I guess maybe for someone like Ryan Kavanaugh, it just looks good I to guess, have followers. Yeah. Even it, though his engagement is like zero, he has like 
he gets like 300 likes on his posts. And just having it inflated, I mean, yeah, you, maybe if you're going into a deal with somebody, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I have this many followers. Mm-hmm. And they, they think that you're more popular than you are. Yeah, but if you know anything about social media, you would go to the post and be like, this guy has 300 likes. But like post, a million followers. And a million followers. Right, yeah. Something's not adding up here. Kind of a tell. Here's Echelon. They say, looking to grow your brand or business organically? Oh, uh, yeah, nothing more organic than a giveaway. <laughs> Look no further. Here at Echelon, we specialize in hosting influencer giveaways. These giveaways are intended to help your brand tap into an audience you may not otherwise reach. With help of A-list celebrities, Nicki Minaj, and their millions of followers, we had amazing success in growing our sponsors' social media platforms, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, he paid them to get followers on Instagram, and it's I would say a little embarrassing to get caught doing that. So Ryan Kavanaugh is buying Instagram followers via Echelon giveaways. Allegedly. Allegedly. What kind of guy would do that? He's just so insecure. I mean, he owns a social media company. And so maybe to him, it's like if I am not popular on social media, then I'm a, you know, I'm a fraud. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah no, no, nothing says um, getting a, ran, a bunch of random people who don't know me to follow me. <laughs> a guy with a billion dollars and... Uh, no respect. Hmm. Wow. He's maybe. got all the money and none the of the respect. The shade. I want to be added to the, the shades. Shade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you think it's? Be, do you think people don't respect him because they mistake him for Ro- Harvey Weinstein I, sometimes? I, that may be it. I yeah, I wasn't trying to I attack him. I just do not feel that that is the They case. go, oh my God, that's Harvey Weinstein. Ah, I don't think I anybody. don't respect Harvey Weinstein. No one has been. And then they go, wait, is that him? They go, it looks like him, but maybe that's not him. It is a stretch that anyone would make that mistake. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, shout out. I don't know if that's against Instagram terms of service either. I don't think you're supposed to buy followers. But hey, what can you do? Oh, I, oh I'm supposed to make this disclaimer, okay? So, okay, guys, this is important disclaimer regarding the Ponzi scheme thing. So everybody listen up. We want to be fair. We want to tell the whole picture. And we want to be objective as possible. So when it comes to the Ponzi scheme, his partner ex-partner who accused him of running a Ponzi scheme in Variety actually took back the statement. What? But here's the details, okay? Okay. So the allegations that his former partner who claims he was running a Ponzi scheme were made under oath. Okay. Okay. Sounds serious. But the ex-partner's claims not under oath once they settled, he took it back and he said he didn't even mean to file the lawsuit. So once they settled, mm-hmm. he, not under oath, said, oh, it was just a joke, lol. I didn't even mean to file the lawsuit. Under oath, his ex-partner said, this guy's running a Ponzi scheme. Got it. So just to be clear. It's rewind time. When he was speaking in a courtroom... Under the threat of perjury. Well, I don't know if he was in court, but I think he signed something under oath oh, verifying okay. that what he wrote in the lawsuit was true and correct. Right. And and that the punishment for, for perjuring yourself it's, under it's, oath is very serious. Yes, yes, yes. So he would probably take that seriously. Whereas any statement that you make while not under oath. Um, you can say anything you, you want. You can really say anything A you want. And so, lie. and so after they settled, right, his ex-partner not under oath, said um, he didn't run a Ponzi scheme and I didn't even mean to file the lawsuit, which, by the way, was a huge complaint they spent a lot of money on. And so I don't really know of any lawyer that accidentally files a complaint. And by the way, the ex-partner used a real... Oops, I turned in the wrong paper. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I accidentally wrote up this huge complaint and accidentally filed. How'd that happen? And apparently his his ex-partner, who accused him of running a Ponzi schemes, had a really prestigious law firm. And they... Sounds like a thing that they... A kind of mistake that they would certainly uh, make. It was just accidentally turning in like a hundred page complaint. Oh, yeah. Lots of time, lots of research, lots of effort. You know, they accidentally wrote it, apparently, too. (laughs) So I guess you all need to decide for yourself which version you think is true. The one under perjury, under risk of perjury, under oath. Right. Or the claim after they settled of, lol, we didn't mean to file it. Just kidding. Hmm. So that's my disclaimer. Okay. Okay? 
Are we clear? Yeah, that was clear. All right. Thank you. Me. Oh, uh, update from AB. Um, also, buying fake followers is against Instagram's terms of service. Not only can they purge the fake followers, but they also reserve the right to suspend accounts that become involved in this practice. Now, right, they're not fake. They're not fake. They're, they're real Ill people. Go- I would say they're ill-gotten. Yeah, I think that that's how companies like that can get around it yeah. by structuring it as a giveaway and yada yada yada. Well, can I give you a general condition from Instagram? Go ahead, please. We reserve the right to modify or terminate the Instagram service for any reason without notice at any time. Yeah, I would nominate Ryan Cavanaugh for deletion. Hmm. I'm just that's scary. These are ill-gotten followers, right? I guess I did something to piss off the Instagram god. <laughs> <laughs> because usually someone follows you on Instagram because they at least know who you are or care about you at least a little bit. Sure. But if you're following just for free shit and you're following 99 people, and one of which is Ryan Kavanaugh, you never heard of the guy, that's an ill-gotten follower. I think they should erase his account. Hmm. Just watching my algorithms get crushed. Because that's not what Instagram, Instagram is a place where we come to interact, to, you know, to get invested, to care. I mean, I'm not on there to follow just a bunch of people and nobody cares. I mean, that's what Ryan Kavanaugh is doing. Not allegedly. And Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, peace and love. <laughs> All right, we're like an hour into the episode, and uh, <laughs> we should probably talk well, about is, something. On it the is the Ryan right. Kevin accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme podcast. Right? So. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Anyway, having too much fun. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have Coffeezilla call in a little bit. Super interesting, great guy who's been running all these investigations on these crypto scams, and I want to tee him up a little bit before we get him on the phone here. Um, <laughs> Logan Paul, friend of the show. Good, good friend of the show. <laughs> Long he, time Dude, the Logan show. Paul, I have known. Everybody, he, he's doing this whole big thing. Like, he reformed. Like, he changed his ways. I, I feel have like known. you even fell for it a little bit. Because I know you're about mm. to say that go you've ahead, known. Go ahead. Go ahead. There was a time a little while ago where you were you were respecting his hustle and, and what he was doing with uh, with Impulsive and stuff. And I, I well, you know what? I, I will sat say, back and bided my time. I was like, hmm. I will say about Logan Paul, you first of all, you can't criticize this guy's hustle. I mean, I don't think he's a good dude. I think he's a shitty dude, and I think he's cutting corners all the way, like Pokemon cards and the box, the boxing and the podcast. I mean, he hustled. I'm, I'm amazed at the space he continues to carve out to make money. Sure. Let you me know. tell you about and one he, thing. He was a path blazer with the merch too back in the day. So these guys are very money oriented, and they know how to do it. Mm-hmm. And that's where I think he gets into trouble here. That doesn't mean I don't think he's a shitty guy. I mean, he is. So with all the crypto scams going away, who not who's not getting involved in it? Logan Paul's getting involved in it. Um, and this is a great one because there's so much evidence of deception on his part. Uh, it's this new Doge style crypto called Dink Doink. And Logan was pretending to be an unaffiliated third-party investor, acting as if Dink Doink is just some random meme coin uh, he stumbled upon. <laughs> Which we will prove uh, conclusively that he was actually one of the founders of this coin. <laughs> he just tweets out, this is from June 28th, not that long ago, actually, shit. That was like a few weeks ago, what the fuck? He says, this is the dumbest, most ridiculous shit coin I've ever seen. And that's why I'm all in. <laughs> I've never heard of this coin. I have no idea what's going on with this coin. I don't know anything about this coin. I'm all in. I think, but I think, but nothing happens. Trying to think, but nothing happens. Let's watch this. What is Dink Doink? <laughs> So they rip off South Park, which is just a nightmare. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Want you to dink on my face. Take a doink on my chest. Yeah, yeah. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Why don't you come on over? Take pictures of my feet. Yeah, yeah. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Why don't you take my little sister to the prom? Don't doink her, please. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. You're my Such a fucking nightmare. They're trying to be South Park. Uh, how does how do they get? Isn't I? I would think that South Park would have some. Prop- I guess not because it's like it's just an art style. Yeah, you it's can't an art really, style. I mean, I don't know. But they're obviously using the likeness of South Park characters to garner some kind of trust right off the gate. Very manipulative. Yeah. 
Dean, don't want you're my favorite scam. Pretend Logan Paul doesn't found the coin. <laughs> favorite kind, you must be favorite kind. Greg Paul hooks up with young girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and lives in a van outside the Team 10 house. I'm a fucking savage. You got to do it. <laughs> I'd rather be proven wrong. <laughs> What's the Greg Fall line? I'd rather speak up and be wrong than be muffled and be wrong. I'd rather <laughs> speak up and be wrong than be muffled and wrong. GP's up. Here, hit me with a bunch of Paul family sound bites, uh, Zach. Girlfriend says thank you. Yo, folks, what's going on? It's GP coming at you. I'm committing fraud. I hope the FBI and FCC is watching me right now. You know what's the sound dink doink? It's when you rub your uh, water cup on the on the um, prison cell bars. Dink doink, dink doink, dink doink. <laughs> dink doink is a total fraud. So I'm anyway, this is the freaking blueberry. So the point is, Logan's acting, and again, very reminiscent of if you guys remember the CSGO scam with uh, Pro Syndicate and T Martin. They're like, I just found this website. You know, acting like you're not involved, not disclosing your affiliation is very shady. So anyway, here he is on impulsive pretending, like, like once again, pumping the coin. That's why it's called a pump and dump or a rug pull. He's now in the act of pumping the coin. He's tweeting about it. He's talking on a show. And this is the lead up to the rug pull, which does happen. And here's Logan Paul on his show talking about dink doink. Dude, this whole fucking trip is showing me this dink doink dink doink or whatever the fuck it's it is. Dink doink. It's, it's a like a spring thing. It's a crypto meme coin and uh, it's fucking, it's hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it is pretty funny. It's the, it's the dumbest. Proof of fraud is right there. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. First of all, saying it's funny is fraud. It's hilarious. That's not fraud. It's hilarious. And man. saying it's funny is proof that you're invested because nobody would literally go on the record and say this is funny. It'd be way too damaging to their reputation. <laughs> This cutest shit I've ever seen. And I mean, because if, if you don't know about crypto, shit coins, like most of them don't have utility. And so, you know, the dink doink people have just <laughs> leaned into how fucking dumb this shit is. And people love it. Like, it's just fun. And it's cartoons. Who loves it, Logan? In South Park style. Who loves it? Who loves dink doink? Name one it's person. It's just fun. It's just fun. This, this coin. This coin is fun. I mean, what are you even talking about? What's fun about it? In his defense, I'm sure it's very fun for him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For him, yeah. Making millions of dollars. Until the FBI asked what he knew about it. <laughs> right. Then it gets on fun. That's why it's called a dink doink. A dink? Fun. Doink? Not fun. FBI. <laughs> I'm a dink doink fan. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen, and that's why I'm all in. Hey, Logan, why don't you tell him you actually designed the fucking dumbass spring? He's all in. They're all uh, lying, by the way. Look how his friend. So Logan designed Dude, this whole fucking trip is showing me his dink. You know, but they're all in on it. Watch this. Dink, 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 It's like a spring thing. It's a crypto. Yeah, yeah. You all know Logan's the one that drew that spring. He stole it from Simpsons, too. We'll get into it. I'm getting ahead of myself. You guys ready for all these dumbass cartoons? I am ready. This is their website. Dink, dink. If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking to yourself, what the heck is Dink Doink? And that's a really good question. At first glance, GP's Dink Doink Oh, this is, is good, just you guys, just in case you're afraid of missing out. The max supply is 10 quadrillion. Dink Doinks. There's 10 quadrillion Dink Doinks. Sick. Scarce. Scarce. It's a fun cartoon created by some of the world's top comedians and influencers. But Dink Doink is so much more than that. Dink Doink is the world's first ever decentralized IP given to a community and run by a community. In the past, IP like Mickey Mouse or Family Guy is owned by a centralized entity. That centralized entity operates under strict guidelines. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> Here's Dink Donk on social media. 
think don't like you're my favorite coin. Oh, I think we watched that already. Yeah, that's the South Park thing. Uh, here, you know, the spring, all the, by the way, but before we get into it, mm-hmm. is a clean ripoff of Homer Simpson. And when you steal- Olympic hello, Bart Springy! When you the stealing- Springfield Spring! Ideas from Homer Simpson. Right. Who's kind of like, you know, the dumbass. Then what does that make you exactly? <laughs> Trying to think, but nothing happens. Seth MacFarlane. No, it's fine. Oh, I love Family Guy. Oh, shit. I, I, hey. It was too good of a Cease setup. I'm sorry. I love, I love Family Guy. I'm sorry. Cease and desist. <laughs> anyway, after Logan Paul pumped it up, <laughs> y'all, guess what happened? Oh, big massive it, dump. It exponentially rose, and everybody who got invested is an overnight millionaire. Here is his oh, tweet. Yeah. Here is his impulsive. And then daddy's. Oh, some, what? Somebody said daddy's about to get his beak wet. He's and about, about to get his dink doinked. Yep. Dink, dink, doink, dink, doink is my favorite coin. Where's I watch daddy? the value plummet and lose all my assets. Dink doink is what I think of my fans. I just scam them and steal the money. Come on, everybody. Dink doink. GP coming at you. I like young girls and my sons feed them to me. Dink doink. GP I don't care about you. my fans. I just steal their money as the source of a crypto scheme. Thank you, everybody. I'm a fucking savage. You got to do it. <laughs> Dink fucking doink. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's the Paul impulsive whole goon squad pretending like we don't know what Dink Doink is. We just love it. This is so fun. It's just fun. What up, Dink Doink Telegram? It's me, Logan Paul. Now I know what you're thinking. Logan, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm doing the same thing as you. Holding my doink. That's what I'm doing. Logan, what are you doing here? Well, this on, is sorry. a shit coin I believe in. It's my favorite one, to be honest. Dink Doink is so much more than a meme coin. It's a multimedia coin. Cartoon meets crypto. It's the blockchain, baby, in, in, in cartoon. A lot of people tell oh me, God. Logan Paul, what are you doing here? Well, the truth is I actually founded this coin, and I'm being deceptive and acting like I just found out about this. Just like you guys. Is this the De Niro or like this? Give me that Godfather. Oh, God. You're right on. We went over this. Dink Doink, you're my favorite coin. And now what is this? I found that Logan Paul is one of the owners, one of the founders. He drew the spring itself. You come to me pitching me Dick Doink, Dink Doink, Logan Paul. Who are you texting, Dan? I'm just browsing Twitter. <laughs> you just browse Twitter when I do the Godfather? You lied to me. Logan Paul. <coughs> you told me Dink Doink was your favorite shit coin. You didn't tell me you owned the fucking coin. I know it was you, Fredo. And now I gotta take you on a rowboat out back on the lake. And give you a little bit of that, that Dink Doink love. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. I thought we were part of the organization, the Paul family. All I wanted to was to pitch a camper outside your house and get, and for you to hook me up with all your young f- female friends. Not necessarily saying under the age of 18, but close. Like right on the border of being legal and not. Legal. I'm a fucking savage, you gotta do it. It's not statutory rape, but it's as close as you could possibly get. That's all I wanted from you, Logan Paul. And now I find out you're the owner of Ding Thong. You broke my heart. I know. You broke my heart. I know it was you, Logan. Thank you. Stop! It's not my fault you went to this weird ass De Niro impression. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? It's the blockchain, baby. In, in, in cartoon, fun comedy format. I'm going to be doing an episode myself soon. And I, as a holder in Dink Doink, I believe in this shit. I think it's yeah. So this crazy. is the Some fake narrative. Friends. So as you guys will find out, he was there since the beginning, and is likely one of the. Fo- I mean, he's one of the founders. And so now they did this thing where he, they planned this all out, where he would tweet it out and be like, "I love Dink Doink," and then he was going to start. They would reach out to him, and then I'm doing cartoons now. I'm part of Dink Doink. That was their plan from the beginning. He was involved from the very top. It's deceptive. <laughs> 
all the way down. So Logan, being a little schemy, little punk and, ass. And uh, celebrities as well going to get involved in episodes doing voiceovers from cartoon stuff. It's fucking dink doink, bro. And I'm ready to start sucking some dink. I'll see y'all soon. Okay. You like cool. that one, eh, Zach? Mike Magilic, the paragon of uh, maturity, intelligence, and totally over the table. Nothing shady going on here, Mike Magilic. <laughs> right. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> sweater says it's suspicious. me, Mike, here to <laughs> right. send some love and camaraderie to the Dink Doink Telegram team. Shit, I know shorts. you guys have been busting your ass to make sure that the hottest, newest coin of 2021 is Dink Doink with the hottest functionality and all of the most built in. Is it embarrassing that Mike even thinks he can influence anything? <sighs> Listen, brutal. Lana. I know you're the baddest, you're the baddest baddie. You're super wealthy, independent wealthy, and I'd love to move in with you, but I have to start a content house with FaZe Blanks and Aiden Ross. <laughs> so here I am. This is what I chose to do. Techniques. To Instead of settling down as an almost 40-year-old man. Tactics and capabilities. Dink Doink is cleared to be the hottest fucking coin ever. I just wanted to say keep up the good work. And if you guys do everything that you're doing right now, even more exponentially, we can go to the top of this whole fucking market, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> is he memeing <laughs> here? Like it, it, and the joke is that he's a dumbass, but I mean, is it's hard to, to and it's the hard to distinguish him pretending to be dumb because that is his natural state. Right. And he's got shit in his gym shorts. He's got shit in his gym shorts. His hoodie says suspicious. I think we should take a call for help. Seriously. Suspicious. <laughs> he allegedly has shit in his gym shorts. He's an assist, Zach. Does he have shit in his gym shorts or allegedly? <laughs> well, Zach is the one who alleged it. So. Well, I'm just trying to help you out a little bit. He, he, sure, let's go with right. allegedly. No, he does. I'm here to confirm oh. he has shit in his gym shorts. Oh, you know, yeah. you know for a fact. You're, I know. You're say it's right proven now, he has today. shit in his gym shorts. Ethan and I were working out at a 24-hour fitness. and um, Okay, calm down. I'm not giving real anecdotes. You're going too far. very specific <laughs> and actionable, Zach. Yeah. Zach's like, I'm going to give the prosecution what they need. Yeah. <laughs> the 24-hour fitness was in Minecraft. In Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> But yes, he does. Anyway, Mike pretending Mike uh, pretending to be a dumbass that doesn't know anything about crypto. Huh. <laughs> For once, he's being honest. <laughs> um, his friend Mamba also gets involved in Dink Doink. Incidentally, how is it that his, everyone in his orbit is supporting this coin? Odd. What the fuck? is up, Dink Doink Telegram. Evan, aka Dwarf Mamba here to tell you each and every one of you is beautiful. You know why? You know why? Cause y'all are part of one of the greatest, if not the greatest shit coin of all time. Of all time. Dink Doink is so embarrassing. <laughs> It's hard to watch, to be honest it's with you. It's brutal. But they're trying so hard to commit fraud, and I just don't understand. It's like, Logan has enough money. Why is he doing this? Did he get, like, t fucking t $20 million from Yeah, they say the between Mayweather 10 fight? and 20 million. And he's like, you know what I should do now that I have 10 to $20 million in the bank? Commit fraud. Commit fraud for <laughs> probably, like, a tenth of that amount of money. Yeah. If yeah. that. Yeah, I would, say, I would say that's accurate. Fucking moon. You don't believe me? Wait, hold on. Dink Doink's going to the moon? Splash cut once again to the chart. We believe in Dink Doink. Dink Doink's going to the moon after they tweet and post all of this. Where's where's the moon? Which direction would the moon be? It would be like up here, mm -hmm. uh, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, be, generally, that's To the moon would be up. Referring to. Right? Yes. Dink Doink went um, down, which is the opposite direction of the moon, I think. Big, massive dumps. Yeah. Um, so, hmm. Guess they were proven wrong. An innocent mistake. You don't have to. You can just be naive and dumb. It's all good. But y'all, the community, this Telegram community, we're not naive. 
And we're not dumb. We're fucking family. A little too meta. And we're gonna go to the fucking moon. We family. We're family, and we're going to the moon, and we're not naive and dumb. Which way is the moon? The moon is up. Because this chart clearly shows it going sharply down. Maybe it's like the moon from Majora's Mask. It's just going down. I guess if you're on Mars. <laughs> we're going to the moon. <laughs> right. The moon, what if the moon comes to you? Right, exactly. exactly yeah. or, or perhaps, you know, in, in uh, general relativity... You know, there is no directional bias, like up, down. It, it, it's all sure. your frame of reference. So, I mean, it's not, he's not. So, I'm just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. When he says going to the moon, if like I'm just trying to help him in court, he could say, well, your honor up, you know, to the moon is a subjective uh, directional force. Yeah. Could be down. Like it depends where you are on the earth. Sometimes the moon is below you. Right. If, if, if the moon's on the opposite side of the planet, then it's then theoretically it's he below means it's your going feet. down. Well, wasn't Logan one, Paul like a flat earther for a little bit? Maybe one, he doesn't understand. Go ahead, oh, AB. No, I'm saying, wasn't Logan Paul like a flat earther for a little bit? Oh, I think that was a gag. Oh. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, he's, I don't know. He doesn't understand how the moon works. Or... <laughs> yeah, so that <laughs> makes so. sense. Yeah, he's talking, He when he says moon, he's talking relative to, you know, where your place on earth is and if the moon is Which moon? below you. Maybe well, Phobos? Which Demos? No, that's not true. The moon is actually specifically the Earth satellite, so I'm going to have to correct you there, Dan. Uh, if you want to get technical, you would refer to it as Luna. <sighs> no, it's called a satellite, Dan. Uh, no, a moon can be any orbiting body around a planet uh, within uh, the solar system. No, it's not. A moon is a satellite. Is a, well, yes. First of all, the moon is the name of our satellite. Uh, it, it, a satellite uh, is a body that or is a large uh, body that orbits a planet. Uh, colloquially, uh, you may refer to our moon as the moon, but technically it would be referred to as uh, Luna. Oh, shit. Oh, you're just saying technically, but it technically a moon is called a satellite. If you go to another planet, it wouldn't be called a moon. It would be called a satellite. The moon is the name of our satellite, Dan. Uh, no, that's, Fact check it. No, that's incorrect. No, uh, you're incorrect. Other planets have moons. The moon is not just referring to our moon. <laughs> the name of our satellite is the moon. A satellite is an object that moves around a larger what object. What are you looking at the definition of the satellite for? I mean... The moon. Define. Do they... The natural satellite of Earth. The natural satellite of Earth. I know. I know. I know. Visible... Chiefly at night by reflecting light from the sun. <laughs> okay. I'll All take right. my apology, Dan. <laughs> I am apologizing for shit. You're wrong. Other other satellites. The natural being... satellite of Earth. Yeah, I get it. I know. I was I was I was being uh, uh No, you were trying to come at me. And some shit, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm confident on my moon knowledge. Good shit. So you back the fuck up. And take the, the L. Fuck up, Dan. Take the L this time. <laughs> Uh, like the episode of The Office where Michael Scott's the new smart guy after he outsmarts Oscar in an argument. Mm. The audience will understand that. Oh, about China? What is a moon simple <laughs> definition? So, yeah. The large round object that circles the Earth. Boom. Moon, motherfucker. Moon. They call Take them the, the moons of uh, Jupiter. Are called they the, have the names. Ga Galilean, Galilean moons. They yeah, I know. Names. And so does our moon. It's called Luna. The moon. It's called the moon. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take this L. <laughs> I think you guys are both right. No. Sorry. Oh, stop it, AB. Get out. Sorry. Don't sit on the fence on this one. <laughs> what happened Sorry. to being the simp? You're right. Dan. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what is that? Dan that? Don't bite the hand to feed you, Dan. Oh, thank you for apologizing, Dan. Sorry. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for apologizing, Dan. It means meaningful to me. I know I get a lot wrong, <laughs> but on this one, it'd be nice to get in an argument that I was finally right about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just I was trying to do a bit and then I got way too serious. All right. Zach. Story of my life. Zach. Apolo have Dan apologize to me one more time. Zach. Sorry. Thank you. That's very meaningful. Sorry. Very meaningful. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> feels good. Sorry. It feels good. Thank you. Just take it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dink Doink and Mike are hanging out. This is interesting. Dink Doink. Oh, here's Mike hanging out with Dink Doink. Wow. A mega influencer like that. Oh, they're chilling. In the Wait, so the spring is, is called Dink Doink? Yes. Because, so what, 
so both the spring the spring itself is dink doink. Yes. But then the coin is called dink doink. The coin is the spring. That's clear, <laughs> uh, that's clearly a, a spring, not a coin. <laughs> right. That I'll agree on. What was that sniffling noise you were doing? Who? Dan. When he was doing the bit, he was doing this like Oh, he's doing a nerd. Yeah, like being he's a just nerd. being a nerd. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so here's the big twist. Here's the big twist, okay? Here's the Dink Doink CEO on a podcast giving up the whole fucking game. Whoops. And I went, me and I, I live with Logan Paul. I, I have for a long time. The CEO lives with Logan Paul. Well, that's how he heard about it. <laughs> right. They were at the kitchen table, you know, having breakfast. And he was like, yo, I'm. I just heard of this Dink Doink coin. <laughs> At my kitchen counter. Yeah. Try to think, but nothing happens. Man, I can't believe he fucked up this bad and gave away the game. Here, listen to this. I went, me and I, I live with Logan Paul. I, I have for a long time. And I went through this whole crypto experience with Logan. He's, he's mm. my best friend. And <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, Steven, we, we might as well, you know, be, be honest about how this came about. Uh -oh. I was chilling with Logan and, and we were like, what's the stupidest name we could think of? For mm -hmm. like a coin, right? Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest name we could think of for like? What's with the music, <laughs> dude? Everything about <laughs> what's on screen here is fucking cracking me up. The we guy got... couldn't have fucked Logan more. What is I this live podcast? With him. Not financial advice. Doge coin. Doge coin. <laughs> a picture of some dude and some vaporwave playing. And, and who doesn't want to just <laughs> listen to music during a conversation? But he couldn't give up the game more. He says, I live with Logan. He's my best friend. We did this together from day one. He came up with the name. Didn't he just say that yes. Logan came up with the name? Yes. Huh. It's fantastic. I just I, I a heard about this Dink Doink. mascot that's like a dumb spray. We were like, Dink Doink. Oh, my God. His name's Dink Doink. <laughs> and it just came alive. Like, Logan designed the it's character like a GTA on his phone story on Snapchat. Arc. Logan defined the character. <laughs> Logan designed the character on his phone. That I'll believe based off of the character's design. Which, by the way, he stole from Homer Simpson. <laughs> right. Not even original in the slightest bit. Yeah. Um. A case closed. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, unless that guy's lying, I guess. I mean, why would he lie? He's, he's, he says he lives with them and they're best friends. How <laughs> yeah. would you lie about something like that? I agree. It seems like a stretch. Hey, hey, now, is this guy, why? is he the dink or is he the doink? Uh, we already explained that the spring is the uh, dink and the doink. Okay. Maybe. Well, doink means fool, so just put that out there. I don't know. I thought if... doink meant like a, like a Sorry. blunt. Or a I don't think they're worried about definitions. Now, here he is. This is fantastic. In case you guys are wondering the, the main pole of this coin, well, this is the CEO that happens to live with Logan Paul. And here he is. The, this podcast host says, why should people believe in Dink Doink? Well, here is a really fantastic answer that is so compelling. I, myself, am ready to invest in this coin, even though it's dead. Ooh. Listen. So good. You know, as you well know, there's over 10,000 uh, cryptos out there right now. Uh, what makes your project different from the um, countless amounts of BSCs that launch every day? What a great question. What a um, great question. Thanks for that question specifically. Thank you for it's that. It's like the most important question, right? Don't I've never been asked that question. This is actually mm. my first podcast okay. um, as Dink Doink's <laughs> CEO. So right. I, I, I have a really good answer to it. Oh, All right. Okay, let's hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for... for a very specific purpose mm. and Ooh. dink doink on its face is a funny cartoon and mm. it's a meme mm. it's and arguable. it's a community having mm. fun on Twitter and it's social media stars tweeting about it every week. And you know, that's what it is on its face. That's what you'll see it do. Um, but really to me, I look at, you know, you brought up Bitcoin earlier and and what's going on with elon and those two communities now in sort of a quarrel and i i find the crypto space in this moment to be at at its most important moment it's ever had where such a coherent answer turns into <laughs> so passionate need at some point to move forward mm -hmm. we have the technology we have the attention we have the passion we have everything except uh 
a unified community. Do you think he thought he nailed that? <laughs> I mean, that was such incoherent, stalling <laughs> drivel. That was absolute dog shit. And that was the dumbest fucking <gasps> thing I've heard a human oh. being utter. <sighs> That's such a fantastic question. I mean, I'm so glad you asked that. Never been asked that. I mean, I'm so important. You know, uh, just so thrilled that you asked me that question. Uh, you know, thank you, by the way. <laughs> so, Dink Doink is definitely going to the moon. Yeah, after hearing that. Wherever the moon is. After that be. pitch. <laughs> yeah, huge. So, here's another. Oh, so here's a little edit we made of Logan pretending he doesn't know what Dink Doink is. Combined with his partner um, exposing him for being one of the founders. Enjoy. Dude, this whole fucking trip is showing me this dink doink, dink doink, or whatever the fuck it's it is. Dink doink. It's, it's a like a spring thing. It's a crypto meme coin, and uh, it's fucking, it's hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it is pretty funny. It's, <laughs> the, it's the dumbest, cutest shit I've ever seen. Cute. And, you know, the dink doink <laughs> people have just <laughs> deleted. He's the dink doink people. I know. It's He's so, the dink doink. It's so good, too, talking about. The thing that you made up as being the funniest thing ever. It's the funniest thing ever. It's the cute? cutest thing ever. I made it on my phone in two seconds to rip off my fans. It's so sick. How fucking dumb this shit is. And people love it. Like, it's just fun. And it's cartoons in South Park style. I'm a Dink Doink fan. Uh, to, be, to be honest with you, Steven, we might as well, you know, be, be honest about how this came about. I was chilling with Logan and, and we were like, what's the stupidest name we could think of? For like mm -hmm. a coin, right? Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest name we could think of for like a little mascot that's like a dumb spray? We we're like Dink Doink. Oh my God, his name's Dink Doink, <laughs> and it just came alive. Like Logan designed. <laughs> that is not. I was extreme okay. game. That I, is I was, I was so expect, funny. Yeah, it is so funny. Yep. So there you have it. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Oh, is Hillary uh, investing in Dink Doink? Here's the CEO, by the way. This is the genius who just explained why Dink Doink stands out. So my official statement as the CEO on a very important meme coin. I guess everyone wants to know what's up with Dink Doink. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Who better to tell you than the CEO himself? Is it a scam? Are you in no. Logan's house right now? He is. He's in Logan Paul's <laughs> house right now. Apparently his house. Right. It's one what and the, the same, fuck, bro. Flat out, no. Logan. Wait, hold on, hold on. As he's explaining that it's not a scam, let me just pull up the chart. <laughs> this should be good. So go ahead, uh, go ahead. Where, wherever you were, um, he was saying it's not a scam. So mm -hmm. let's let him continue. Here's the chart, by the way. Coffeezilla. It's one that tweeted that out. So go ahead. Uh, as you were saying. Is it a scam? No. 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 Flat out, no. <laughs> Logan hasn't sold a single coin. Neither has the dev team. What about the We're CEO? We're here to make a funny meme coin. It's a fucking cartoon. And if you don't get the joke, you are the joke. <laughs> I don't care about YouTubers making fake videos to lie about us to make money. I don't give a fuck. We're a funny meme coin. We're going to continue to make funny cartoons. <laughs> And it's oh that simple. God. I guess everyone wants it's to know. It's funny what's because up. that his answer he gave to the podcast host was very different. He was like, on surface value, it's memes and stuff. But underneath, it's so much bigger. Let the conversation begin. <laughs> Can you explain Logan Paul's affiliation with Dink Doink? I think that's what people are more concerned about. Oh, what a piece of shit these people are, man. They're fucking horrible people. Like, just fucking horrible. And they're so bad at being scammers. Yeah, I know. The, the blockchain just gives them away. I mean, they could just make a billion wallets and never be traced back, but they're just not smart. Well, his fucking best friend went on a podcast and th put the whole damn game out there. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have CoffeeZilla on. He's the guy that's been running... All the investigations on Logan, that was his tweet with the chart, and all of these crypto scams going on. I thought it'd be fantastic to talk to, talk to him to unpack some of this stuff. So, let's throw it to CoffeeZilla. Uh, we have with us on Zoom CoffeeZilla, 
the Internet's detective who's been looking deeply into all these crypto scams going on with the FaZe Clan. Yes, round of applause for coffee. Uh, FaZe Clan, Logan Paul, Sam Pepper. Are these the biggest offenders that you've found? Do these names check the box for you or what are we looking at? Uh, yeah, especially considering their influence, right? Because a big part of it for me is when you're pushing your fans into a crypto coin or something like that, the bigger the influence you have, the more egregious it seems. So when you're going to jump in a coin and, you know, as someone as big as Logan Paul, I just thought he made enough money on the fight. Like, why, why is he doing this? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you pushing your fans into this? That's the thing that just really pissed me off about when I found about this dink doing thing that Logan Paul's doing. It's like he's worked so hard to repair his image. I still think he's a douche, but he's got a little smarter about it. But then he goes into this whole dink doink thing. He's already made a ton of money from all the shit he's been doing. It's like. And then to lie about it and mislead. So Logan Paul has been doing this thing. You Maybe you can. uh uh, set it up, but Logan Paul started this crypto called Dink Doink. He acts like he doesn't know what the fuck it is. And then, meanwhile, the programmer went on a podcast and was like, oh yeah, I made it with Logan Paul, and Logan even made the logo. Yeah, he goes, he tells his fans that, um, you know, I'm all in this shit coin. I just, like, like he just found it, like just off the street, like he was just looking around and he found it and he goes, I'm all in on it. And it turns out that the founder, Jacob Broido, goes on a call and he goes, yeah, me and Logan were just looking at how much money people were making with Doge. And we decided, let's make Dink Doink. And we said Dink Doink and Logan designed it on Snapchat and there it was. And then he promoted it to all of his fans. It makes no sense. And I agree with you. He's done a lot to repair his reputation. I think he's done a good job of repairing it with a lot of people. So it makes no sense. I wonder if they even know what they're doing is illegal. You know what I mean? Because he's like, oh, Dogecoin, just some dumb fucking thing. But you've got to know it's fraud. To, it's like what T. Martin Pro Syndicate did with the CSGO gambling shit, if you remember. They go, oh, I just found this website that I, by the way, that I own. I'm not going to tell you that I'm getting. It's like you, it's, it's very misleading and probably illegal to say, I just found this random website. You have to disclose your affiliations, especially when you're in that level of influence and you're promoting something. And we still don't know, did Logan get paid and how much did he get paid to promote? I mean, I didn't see a disclaimer. Maybe like when I see not financial advice, that doesn't mean this this is sponsored, right? Right. Like that's different from saying that. So how can they get away with this? I think, so. look, I don't know who I'm not going to say I'm not going to make any guesses, but I think someone will eventually go down for something like this, whether it be K or whether it be Logan or somebody. Yeah. The stuff I've seen against K makes me think he's going to go to jail. Um. <laughs> it's sad. Look, I don't even know that he's like the mastermind behind all this, but he's done it in the worst possible way. Mm -hmm. I've been constantly just reaching out in good faith, trying to talk to everybody involved. I've talked to banks. I've reached out to Jarvis. I've reached out to Summer Ray. Like a lot of these people won't talk to me, but I, I reached out to everyone involved. And I just said like, look, we need to talk. And then if I have something bad against them, I'll say, look, here's what I have. Do you have anything, anything to say? And their lawyer comes back, sends me a cease and desist letter and says, that's extortion. And that's called reporting. That's called fair reporting. <laughs> make any sense well asking for comment is a good is an act of good faith isn't it it's like the opposite of extortion look i've been I, at first i had to get 2k through banks because at first banks was the only one talking banks was like look dude face has nothing to do with it blah 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 nobody else was talking banks was the only one talking saying phase wasn't involved and at this point i don't think he knew about save the kids i'm comfortable saying that i don't think banks knew but there are some other players involved, like like Jordan Galen, who was a senior talent member, uh, manager at FaZe. Do you know about him? Yeah, I watched your video. I learned about him from that. He was running deals. Uh, you got K. I mean, you've just got like a huge number of FaZe people. So it is a massive slip up to like have all your talent running around doing crypto deals. So at the end of the day, what you have here is a ton of influencers you know, uh, to put it simply, st I mean, stealing money from their fans. Their, man their fans are putting money into this pool 
thinking they're investing, and the creators are pulling it right back out. So do you know if there's any higher authority report uh, investigating into this crime currently? Uh, can't say too much on that. Just disclose it. But I would, I would guess. Yeah. There's, there's a good chance. There's a good chance that people are investigating this. Um, but look, let me say this. I think a big thing is, did they sell or not? Like in the case of Logan, we don't know how much or if he got paid, I would guess he got paid, but we don't know if he got paid in dink doink and we don't know if he sold, right? We can make, we can speculate. But in the case of K, we have his wallet. We yeah. know that after being an ambassador for a charity coin called Save the Kids, mm. which is just the worst possible. So name. That's, insane. A, that's a highway to the feds. I mean, I got to admit, um, but we know that he sold in 24 hours. And so that's that's where it crosses that line for me. It's like once we know you sold. I right. And then I was uh, Mudo Har put out a video recently where he got went in depth into the cryptos. And when you look at these guys, it's like they get paid and then they sell immediately. And you see it all mm -hmm. the time. They promote these coins. Uh, they get paid. They sell immediately. You know, well, and, no. And they were running giveaways, specifically K right. was running giveaways. And then he was giving the money to wallets connected to him. Not only that, but it happened on three separate giveaways, right? Where it was the same winner. Yeah, no, no, no. He gave several, like we cross-checked all the winners and several of them won every single giveaway. Eclipse. That's illegal. Bitcoin, That's fraud. And Save Galaxy. That is a huge fraud. You're saying it. I mean, like I, I right now I have this big fat cease and desist letter um, sitting right next to me right over here. I'll but, say it's um, fraud. Uh, they can get in line. I'm already being sued. That sounds like fraud to me. Well, Ja Rule, what do you <laughs> think you that is? That's not fraud. Ja Rule doesn't think it's fraud. Wow. What would you call it, Ja Rule? I would call that uh, false advertising. False advertising? That I, I would guess, yeah, I, I could say that. I could <laughs> Let's think how to dig ourselves out of this shit, man. They need to get Ja Rule on the board of Dink Doink and... Uh, he got to get Ja Rule in face. He's the only one who can dig their way out of this. But, you know... Um, yeah, so so they're doing these giveaways. The winner is the manager, right? You guys have proven well, there's that. Sev there's, sev there's several winners. I believe in the case of, you'll have to refer to Mudahar's video because I'm just going off memory right now. But one of the winners of one of those giveaways was um, was Jordan Galen, like their <laughs> That's manager, so insane. right? It's insane. And then dude. he immediately sells it once he gets it, right? Yeah, these guys are selling right away, man. Did you see the uh, Aiden Ross stuff? Oh, yeah. I've been I can't believe that Aiden. I don't know why people let Aiden Ross get away with so much shit because he just straight up said the MILF token was a scam. I hope none of you guys bought that shit. Well, guess who gave him that deal? The same guy. Jordan Galen. And Jordan Galen got a bunch of MILF token right before Aiden Ross did that deal dumped his bags right away, made thousands of dollars. I yeah, mean, actually, I, I haven't... So I watched Mudahar's video. You can see on the blockchain how much actually Aiden Ross got paid for that. He got paid like close to $200,000 for that brief fucking MILF token. Crazy. So of course he's like, yeah, fuck my fans, you know? Stupid, dude. I just I got paid a bag. I hope nobody... You got to pull up that clip. Like he goes, he goes, yeah, me, uh, I hope nobody yeah. actually someone bought sent, that thing. Someone send me on Discord because like... It's pretty incredible that you can just blatantly say to your fans, I don't care about you. I'm you literally using you. I'm using, not only using you, I am, I am to your detriment getting money from you. And somehow it's just cool because they all, they just think that's not a problem. I don't know how that's possible. I don't get it. Cause I'm, someone well, he's going like, to say, he's going to say, I didn't know MILF token um, was a sketchy coin. But right? he already, like, well, here he is admitting to such. Here, I'll pull it up. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll probably be able to hear it. IG number one, for stock tips, Aiden must buy AMC. Today. It's got that nice Gucci. Uh... Chat, by the way, that MILF token shit I did a while back, I already told you guys, don't buy that shit. I got paid a bag to do that shit. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. I hope none of you guys actually bought it. Uh, <laughs> sounds like he knows it's a scam. It does. It does sound a lot like because that. Because let's yes. let's examine. Let's closely examine what he's saying here. Aiden must buy AMC today. 
Shop. I can't get over what a shithole his bedroom is. This guy who's apparently getting paid so much money, living in this content house with phase This guy's and- probably a multimillionaire. Oh, yes. I'm sure he is. You don't, do you know how much money he gets from the gambling? Have you looked into that shit? Uh, yeah. No, it's... Well, he was talking. I don't know if it's the house or if it's him, but they're paying him somewhere above $2 million a month. Yeah, that's to him. Was that to him specifically? Because somebody, another gambling site offered him $2 million and he said, no, I have a better deal. Yeah, that's to on. him. That's to him. $2 million a month. And he lives like he's fucking still with his parents. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, by the way, that MILF token shit I did a while back, I already told you guys, don't buy that shit. I got paid a bag to do that shit. So why do you think he would tell his fans, don't buy it? What would possibly be the explanation for that? I mean, I think he knew it's not going to go well for his fans if they bought it. Right. But he wanted to make the bag, dude. Yes. It's all. And we know how. What's much. up with this new culture of like it's all about the bag? If I have money, got well, that money. That's right. why I put this back here, dude, so I could get credibility with all these guys. I got the Lambo in the back because I know that's all they believe in. It's just clout chasing. Yeah. Show me how to. Clout what's the and what's, money? What's the what's the um the horsepower on that thing? Oh, dude. Let me show you. Let me show you just. Oh, it is anti gravity, dude. Nobody's got this. See, that's what why coin I put did it. you promote to get that, man? You on that tits coin or what? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm on that um, Elon sperm token. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard Elon sperm is going to the Mars. <laughs> um, so don't actually buy that coin, guys. Please okay? don't buy any coin. Stop. No more coins. <sighs> it's ridiculous. So, um. <laughs> like I don't give a fuck. I hope none of you guys actually bought it. <laughs> yeah, it's all about his bag. What about the bags of his fucking audience? Fill that bag up. Not. I mean, who cares, dude? I got the money. I got the bag. And got out. Well, anyway, you know, you and uh, Mudohar, aka some ordinary gamer, you are on the Coffeezilla channel. You guys have been doing a lot of legwork here to bring this stuff to light. And it really is important because, you know, between this and the gambling that I've been witnessing on Twitch, it's just a really low point, I think, in influencer uh, in history. And when you have people like Logan Paul, like, I don't expect much from FaZe Clan. Like, these guys have always been scumbags. But when you look at, like, I mean, Logan Paul's, I've always thought was a piece of shit. But, like, he, dude, when you're him, he, but he's a huge influencer, right? One of the biggest now. And when you have someone like that who's, you know, doing this dink doink shit, it's just, it's just bad for everybody. Any illegal. It's just, it's a low point. It's a fucking horrible low point. It is. Did you see the cartoon, though, with Logan in it? Of course. It is the biggest embarrassment. I'd be embarrassed to be associated with the cartoon, much less the crypto coin. Well, you know, I think Mudohar made the best point. He says, "When Lo- here's how you know that Logan Paul's committing fraud. Okay, you ready for this? He says in his video promoting Dink Doink that they're funny cartoons. <laughs> These cartoons are not funny. And no self-respecting person would ever claim them to be funny. The only way you would ever claim these cartoons are funny is if you had a vested interest in this dink toink. Therefore, irrefutable evidence that he is committing fraud. Thank you. Get in line for suing me. (laughs) Yeah, unlike you, I'm a comedian, not a journalist, so I have a little more leeway. That's not There you go. (laughs) Anyway, I'm looking forward to a coffeezilla on YouTube. There's a lot more to come, right? For any, with your investigation? A lot more to come. Um, I just found out about something today that blew my mind. And I can't I can't believe these guys are getting away with it. It's this, I'll just be honest, it's the it's this LA, LA, Vegas. There's this big circle of like guys that are seem to consistently come up in this over and over and over mm-hmm. again. And I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. So we'll see. I'm trying to dig up. I just found out who Manny is. I found out who a, a bunch of people are. I'm talking to everybody involved. So hopefully we find out who the mastermind is. You know, these are the same people that were involved in, you know, the CSGO gambling shit back in the day. It's just they make money at any cost. They don't care. They're scammers. They're scammers at heart and they don't give a shit. The problem is they don't know when to stop. I mean, they have legitimate money, but it's never enough, especially when you look at someone like Logan Paul. Scumbag. I think, yeah, I think it's important to say real quick is like 
there were people who were involved who didn't know. Like you look at Tico. I don't know if you saw that. Like this guy faced Tico. He got involved. The kid put in $35,000 of his own money or somewhere around that and then bought in into the coin because he thought it was going to actually save the world or whatever, save the kids. He never sold. So he's down. He's out 35K. So it's pretty clear not everyone knew the same amount. So I think it's really clear when we like careful, we have to be careful when we go into these fraud situations or scam situations that we deal out, you know, the, hey, you're a scam, whatever, like f- according to what they actually did. Because in the case of people like Tico, even um, Nikon only sold like a third and then he held on, he bought. And what, it's complicated. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Fair enough. Absolutely. Coffee's ill on YouTube. Everybody tune in. This is going to be a juicy, bumpy ride. So I will be watching right. and hopefully Thanks, everyone man. else too. Thanks for calling Appreciate in, it. sharing your story. Appreciate that. Take care. Well, guys, um, I had fun today. We learned a lot. We had some fun. I made a very important retraction about, or not a retraction, I wouldn't say retraction, but I made, uh, not not a retraction. I retract nothing. <laughs> what I did say about Ryan Kavanaugh, very important distinction. Well, is that Ryan? <laughs> He's the one on the left. <laughs> oh, that's Ryan? Yeah, okay. that's, that's Ryan. It's hard to tell. <laughs> They really look so similar. Ryan's this one from the Variety article. Oh, over here, Ian. There. Accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. That's right, which we've now clarified was under oath. That he oh, yeah. His, so, so I just, this is a really important clarification I want to make for the record. Right. His partner said under oath that Ryan Kavanaugh was running a Ponzi scheme. Now, he did not, He then he went on to say, not under oath, that the big complaint he filed was filed accidentally. Right. And Ryan is not running a Ponzi scheme. And the timeline on this, just to be clear, was after they, they settled. settled. Yes. Which, you know... Do we know what that settlement was? No, we have we we couldn't possibly know. But like, I mean, one possible. I'm not saying it's possible that in a settlement that could be part of the arrangement. Right. Also, obviously, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. But if Ryan gave him a big payout and said, "Hey, re- you know, just say that you meant to accidentally file it," right? That's that would a, that that that's could a be a plausible possible, scenario. Oh, possible. For that's sure. definitely a yeah. plausible scenario. So you guys decide. I'm just being out here for the sake of clarity and honesty. So you guys decide if Ryan Kavanaugh, if Ryan's ex-partner's accusation against him running a Ponzi scheme under oath is true, or when he later retracted it, not under oath, after settlement, and said they accidentally filed a lawsuit, which was, let's be honest, was kind of boneheaded, prestigious law firm accidentally filing a lawsuit. Just... Dropped their pen and it just <laughs> oh, scribbled all over a page. And this is him going to the judge. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, go give me that back. Give me that back. Oh, nope. Sorry. Too late. It's already been filed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyway, thank you for watching. I love fun today. It's the end of the episode. I'm eating pears. We're having no episode on Friday, right? <laughs> There's been a lot of back and forth, but I think that's where we've landed. I think not only myself, but I think the guys, everyone here, Deserves a little break. Everyone's been working super hard, round the clock, and this is the only time in my life that I think I'll get, until I die, that I'll be able to actually just have a legitimately, like, a few days with no responsibility. I have no responsibility right now, which is something I can't say I've had for a decade or more, more than a decade, and I don't think I'll be able to say that ever again until I die. So, let's do it. Let's take a day off. It's Friday, baby. Yeah, we want. We deserve this. Friday. Yeah, but this be- is the first time for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching the Loki finale. Is what I'll be doing. I this- could, everybody, I like. I had people telling me you got to watch this. It. So good, and it then is. the same people are like, "Ah, oh, never mind. I take it back. It wasn't good. It got what? worse." I don't take anything back. I like that show. Okay, well, that's the good. finale's airing. I've um, heard from other people that it went. It dipped. No, it in quality. didn't stop. I don't it. know. This isn't me saying this. Well, I'm telling you right now, stop the Logi slant. Sorry. Logi slant Sorry. right now. Sorry. This is the first time for Exa- me. Sorry. Sorry. Exa- <laughs>
Thank you for the apology, Dan. It, it means a lot. I did not apologize. I apologize for very nothing. Sorry. It is very sorry. never back down. Sorry. 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 Anyway, I'm gonna be watching Loki. I'm gonna be um, Dan. I was thinking of doing Dark Souls, a new playthrough as magic user. It's easy mode. I feel like you can't capture the magic of the game on another playthrough. I just don't know if it's for me. Uh, you know, it can be fun to do it again to just challenge yourself to uh, try and do it quickly. You know what I mean? No, I'm not, now that you I'm know not what, speed running. Well, not. I mean, you don't have to be super serious about it, but yeah, you know, just see if you can scoot on through there. Sorry. Take out some demons and stuff. Apologize, Dan. I will never apologize. Sorry. Every sorry. time you hit that sorry, I'm hitting the Zach sound by you, okay? Exactly. It's not the same thing, though, because it's not me exactly. saying that. Exactly. It's not the same exactly. thing. I actually have you exactly. saying sorry. Exactly. Okay, you get your exactly. one sound bite. <laughs> okay, all Look right, at you right. with your exactly. one sound All right, bite. take it easy. I think you guys might be ruining the show here. <laughs> Audio-wise. Sorry. sorry. Thank you, Dan. That's meaningful. Exactly. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys did too. Have a great weekend. I'm sorry we're not going to be here on Friday, but you know what? I'm going to miss you guys. We'll be back next week. I'm, we're just going to take a little break. The guys deserve it. And, uh, and we're just going to enjoy a weekend. Have a fantastic weekend. It's Friday, baby. On Friday, obviously. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next week. So think of us. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers, and we'll do the same for you, okay? Bye. Appreciate you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.